technology, it's a set of knowledge. It's a, a piece of knowledge that allows you to do something. So you need the technology to, to make a, a dish of pasta. You need the technology to make a pizza. You need the technology to make a chair. You need the technology to build a house. Even you need the technology to write a poem. So technology is the set of knowledge that allow you to do something. Now, and that's why the quote is interesting. Whenever we have uh, a piece of knowledge, a set, uh, a process, to do something, that's a technology that allows us to achieve a result. Now, if this technology is not known to many people, it is kind of occult, where by the word occult we mean something which is not obvious, which is hidden, which is latent. So in the moment when I have a piece of knowledge that other people don't have, and I can use this technology to achieve seemingly impossible results, that brings me to a level of magic. Does it make sense? So technology is whatever knowledge you have that will allow you to do something that other people don't know how it's done. And also in the realm of entertainment, in the realm of conjuring, of stage illusion, the element of technology is what we call the trick, which, again, if the magician does his work properly, it remains hidden from other people and allows the magician to do seemingly impossible things, seemingly impossible stuff. Now, the same line of thought applies to any technology, here you're being taught, you're being exposed by technologies related the, dom the very wide domain of creativity. So if you know how to properly remix and juggle with your ideas, you can create new things, uh, you can create original things. So there is a technology there. So there is a technology of creativity. 